crumpets please take their places? This show is about to begin. Thank you. Hey, uh, Sam, can you connect me to the second phone line there? Sure thing, Frank. Thank you. Thank you for waiting, ma'am. So to answer your question, the Rat Pack is a show meant for neutral audiences, young and old. So it's not geared towards anyone specific, so we don't consider this show by any means a kid show. Hope that answered your question. Are you suggesting there's something wrong with a kid show? Us kids don't really get enough programming, you know? <laughs> what do you mean by- Oh, I get it. Kid, go. Nice looking headset. Hey, hey, stop that! Stop that! Uh... Hi, Randy here. I'm just on the way down to my apartment right now. Welcome to another episode of the Rat Pack. I hear a door opening. Very loud. That must mean Karen's out. See, oh, so next week I got Excuse me. Can I get your attention, please? Attention! I don't know. How many of you bozos have been paying attention lately? But I just wanted to inform you all that there is a new family moving into the Crumpet House this afternoon. Oh, great. Just what we need. More neighbors. Oh, that's great. So do you know anything about this new family yet, Karen? No. All I know is that they are moving here and paying good money to do it. So you all had better behave so you don't scare them away. Well, I'm sure it's a nice family. I don't know. Great! They're coming in 30 minutes, so you all had better behave yourselves. Ah! Bye, Karen. She's awesome, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Well, good, because it wasn't in the least bit funny. Enough about that. Let's talk about this new family. I have a hunch that they might be spies. Spies? Yeah, you see, but we don't even know anything about this family yet. Louie, I think... Well, I was looking through Karen's mail the other day, and you looked through Karen's mail, she's going to kill you. Uh, that's not important. What is important is that I looked at the little form that these people filled out, and they are both lawyers. Maybe they're trying to sue us. Well, if they're trying to sue you, I would understand that. Louie, relax. You're making assumptions too soon. And I also know that they're monsters. So what if they're monsters? So is Mr. Nosh. And so is Herb. And so is Bernard. And so is Timothy. And so is Twister. And so is Sugar. And so are you. I know a bad monster from a good monster. Believe me. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, all right, all right, fine. Be that way. I'm gonna hide under the stairs and sneak attack on these people when they come this afternoon. I'm on to them. Hello, Winky here, and welcome to Art Gallery Showcase. Today we will be showcasing some amazing artwork done by our friend Matteo V. Yes. Now he decided to do three pencil crayon drawings of his favorite crumpet characters. First up, we've got our poet friend, Herb the Troll. Look at that, that really does look like him. He put a lot of detail into that. Yes. And to follow up with that, we have this amazing drawing of another friend of ours, the aggressive but talented Chef Gator. Yes. He looks amazing, doesn't he? He had everything right there, all the little details, all the little facial hair and the bandana, everything. Amazing. And speaking of aggression, we also have our very grouchy friend, Junko Cantankerous. Look at that. Look at all the detail he put into that, the eyebrow and the lower lip and the teeth. They are all amazing. Thank you for this wonderful art, Mateo V. And if you have art you would like us to showcase, send us a message, or an email, or something. Hmm. That's all for today on Art Gallery Showcase. Ta-ta! 
Oh, hi. It's really me and Louie. You see, I'm both in disguise and in gear. I got all my protection on me. Because when that new family comes in, I'm going to jump out from under the stairs and surprise attack on them. Oh boy, I better hide. I think this is the right address. Ah! You thought you could fool me, did you? Uh... Louie? Jerry? Y y yeah, that's me. You remember me? <gasps> Jerry's back! Jerry's oh back! Jerry's back! Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey, Garbo! Garbo! Jerry's back! Jerry's no. back! Jerry's back! Wait. Jerry's back! Jerry's, Jerry's back. back! Jerry's back! Jerry's back! Hey, Bruno! Back. Jerry's back! Are you Jerry's for back. real? Oh! Jerry's, 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 Jerry's back! Jerry's back! Jerry's back! Jerry's back! Would you guys quiet down? I'm trying to do a show here. Uh, Jerry's back! 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 Oh, hi, Bruno. back! Jerry's oh, back! Oh, Randy, Randy, how have you been? Uh, uh. <laughs> you two know each other? Are you kidding? Me and Sherry were best friends in high school. Gosh, it's been so long. Yeah, I haven't seen you in forever. Hey, you look great. Thank you, so do you. What is going on? I'm trying to rehearse my poem and... Jericho Hib! Junior! Ha ha, long time no see, little buddy. How have you been? Oh my, you've grown. Hey, I have some new teeth now, see? <laughs> well, it's good to see you again, little buddy. So you're the new family that's moving in? Are you gonna live here forever? Uh, did you guys think we were moving in? Oh, 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 oh there must have been some mistake. We're only staying here temporarily. You see, we're here on business. Uh, well, you're welcome to stay as long as you want. You could stay forever. Oh, uh, well, thanks, but there's no need for that. Uh, okay, let's go find our apartment. So, do you know where you're going on vacation this year? No, uh, not yet. I know where I'm not going, though. Hey, me too. So, where'd you go last year? Well, I went to visit Flipper's Fish at his new estate. You got to see Flipper's? I haven't seen him in forever. How is that a bad thing? Well, it was all fine in the very beginning, but for most of the visit, I just sat on the outside of his mansion listening to him blabber and blabber and blabber about his success. Seriously, that's all he talked about for the whole visit. In the end of it, I just fell asleep on the lawn chair. And that was the whole visit. Oh, yeah, that is rough. Let me tell you about where I went. I went camping deep into the woods. And one day, I was out for a nice long hike. I let Sugar off the chain because there was a lot of open space, plus he needs his exercise. He mostly chased after birds and squirrels and ate plants, but he always does that. Anyways, all was fine until he made friends with a great big grizzly bear. <laughs> It got very mad and chased both of us as far as we could possibly run, and eventually up a tree. Yeah, that was rough. Oh, yikes. So, uh, where do you think you're gonna go this year? Probably just gonna stay home. Yeah, me too. And now, a very spooky poem from <laughs> Herb the Troll. <clears throat> Timothy, what are you doing? Oh, Wooly broke the sound effects machine, so I have to make all of these sound effects for your spooky poem. Okay, fine. The winds were whooshing late at night. The bats were flying around. Careful, they might bite. Okay, that's enough. That's enough! What, are you doing good enough bat noise? <laughs> the ghosts were whistling through the trees. Do you mind? 
this is what you call a haunted dream. The werewolf howling at the moon. Late at night, not afternoon. These are the certain kinds of frights that happen when you're wandering the woods at night. Oh, hello there. Ah! I was just going to tell him he did a great job with them sound effects. Ooh. Stupid. Gee, Dad, I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, you'll probably never see anything like it again. Gosh, we're so happy you're back at the Crumbit House, even if it's just temporarily. Yeah, well, you know, us lawyers, we travel a lot, because there's lots and lots of cases all over the place. Yeah, gee, we haven't seen you in... When was the last time we saw you? <gasps> Thank you! Oh, no. Family reunions and Christmas, Christmas and birthday. birthday. Gee, when, when was, was the last, last time we saw you? you? Many occasions, I really can't count them, but when was the last time I saw you? When was the last? So many times we've seen each other in the past. When was the last? Stop! Stop singing! Listen! I'm not here to sing and dance, I'm not here to play games, I am here to work, which is why I'm only here temporarily. You want to know the truth? I actually want to move into this place, but now that I know this is a crumpets house, I am moving out tomorrow! I am not a crumpet anymore! I do not want to associate my name with you weirdos! Huh, yeah, if you're gonna be that way... Well, jeez, excuse us for being happy that our friend is back! Yeah! You know, you're forgetting the oath that all crumpets have taken when they join the group. Exactly. Once a crumpet, always a crumpet. Exactly. But if that's the way you feel, we'll just leave you alone. Come on, guys. We got better things to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, just... Okay, well, maybe I didn't mean... Oh, boy. You want to come over and watch the game? No thanks, I'm already watching alligators cooking. What? Oh, he has no context to run that, does he? Ciao, and welcome to Cooking with Chef Gator. Today, I'm going to make something simple, but in a very special way. Chef Gator's special chicken soup. Now, let's get our ingredients. Of course, we need a big pot to start off. Uh, where did I put those vegetables? Oh! Now let's start off with a little thing that lots of people like to put in their chicken soup. Carrots! I'll put... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna waste time. I'll just put the whole bag in there. Not even take them out. Uh, what other things do we have that might taste good? Oh, I got it! Now some bananas. Some rotten bananas, too. Ah, that's not that big of a deal. Say, um... Listen, I know what you're thinking. Bananas and chicken soup? You must be crazy. Well, as I said before, this is not regular chicken soup. This is Chef Gator's chicken soup. So I would put mushy bananas in there. They mix good into the soup. Uh, what else do we got here? Ooh, got some, uh, some lime juice that we use for, for fish. Perfect. Uh, what else? Uh, ooh. Some maple syrup. Oh, just, uh, put the, uh, just, just, just put the bottle in. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, let me see what else we have. Mm-hmm. How about some relish? I am allergic to relish, but this is not for me, so. Perfect. How about some mustard? Mustard. And now time for the final ingredient. And no, it is not the chicken. It is the maraschino cherries. Perfect. Now let's heat this up and mix it. Ah, 
Well, I mean, looks like it's ready. <clears throat> Chef Gaither's chicken soup. Come and get it. Oh boy, chicken soup. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's in here? Oh, some mustard, some relish, some maraschino cherries, some old bananas. Uh, what else did we put in there? Oh, some syrup. Oh, and of course some carrots. And uh, I almost feel sick to my sick to my stomach. Yeah, no, 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 thanks. Aha! You see, that is why it is called chicken soup. Because even Louis, somebody who likes many, many yucky things, is too chicken to eat it. Oh, Chef Gary made something disgusting. <laughs> what else is new? How dare you insult my cooking! <laughs> Chef Gator's special chicken soup? My favorite! Give me that ladle. Oh, oh yeah. Perfect! You even mushed the bananas this time. <laughs> Well, I guess some people like it. That's all for today for Cooking with Chef Gator. Ciao! Mm. Oh, so good! Mm. Even some plastic packaging in there, huh? Nice! You've really have done yourself! Whee! <laughs> Do it again, the crib! Okay! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> hey, Jerry, um... Can I talk to you for a minute? Of course, honey. What's up? Well, we've been moving around and staying at different places forever now, and I think it's time we find a permanent spot. Okay. Where? Well, how about right here? No. No way. No way. We could find a permanent home, but not here. I am not working around oh, these Oh, come clouds. on, Jerry. Junior has already made lots of new friends. Plus, Herb is here if we ever need somebody to look after him while we're working. And if we stay here, I'll get to spend more time with Roxanne, and we haven't seen each other in years. I know, but they're so weird, and it's just... There's so many things about the Crumpets that makes them hard to work with, you know? Just... Are you suggesting that there's something wrong with being a part of the Crumpets group? Uh, no, no, not at all. I... Listen, you don't have to live here forever if you don't want to. That's your decision, but you don't have to insult the way we work. But I am going to live here. You really... That's right. You know, something my father used to say was, once you take an oath, you've made a promise. And I took that oath. Once a crumpet, always a crumpet. And so I am keeping my promise. You people may be weird and disgusting and energetic and loud and crazy, but that doesn't matter. No matter what happens, I am still a crumpet. Forever and ever. Crumpets! FOREVER! And I'm staying here because this is a crumpet house. And that's the place for a crumpet to live. And I am a crumpet! Wow. That was quite the speech. Oh, that took a lot out of me. Gee, I'm so happy you're gonna live here now. We get to hang out more than we used to. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so amazing, I got to go tell everybody. Uh, well, all's well that ends well, you know. Oh, speaking of which, ah, we've reached the end of another Rat Pack episode. Thank you for joining us, and I hope to see you next time. Bye! I think I'm going to enjoy this.
Coming up next on the Rat Pack. Yoga, this is the last time I'm warning you. Stay on the chain. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're going in the cage. Come on. Come on. Make sure to tune in next week.